Hello, Gemini Cancer. Thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Thank you for all the likes, subscribes, comments. I appreciate each and every one of you. So I put the oracle cards over here, which are all for you. The tarot cards over here, which will be the people around you, but you could show up over there as well. So I'm going to give away a deck of cards when I reach 5,000 subscribers. The link below has all my card deck. It has to be a card deck that I use. But I'll have directions when I get to like 4,500 to 4,700 subscribers on how to enter that drawing if you're interested. So I suggest all my viewers to have a dream journal where you write down the time and what's in your thinking when you wake up at night to get a drink or use the restroom or let the dog out or deal with baby. And do it again when you wake up in the morning. And that can help you trigger your dreams and help you because I feel loved ones connect with us when we're sleeping. And sometimes everyone forgets their dreams, most people. Some people say they don't even dream. Um, they just don't remember them. So this can kind of help you remember your dreams. Also a moon journal to keep track of a couple days before a full moon, a couple days after will help you learn how you handle the certain full moons. Some won't bother you at all or some may and you'll know and you'll be like, hey, I'm not going out that night. Um, and what else? To teach yourself about numbers. So there's going to be numbers on some of the cards and if you take notes when you're done with the reading, you could Google and see what those numbers mean and after a while you'll know and you won't need to Google every time. You can self-teach yourself. So the first one of the Dragon Wisdom is peace. Look at that. So you're vibrating in a loving, peaceful mode. I feel like your emotions are balanced. I feel like you're in a good place. So how good is that? So the next one for you is home. Wow, beautiful. So you have peace in your home life right now for a lot of you Gemini Cancers, which is just beautiful and very good for a lot of people don't have that. So you seem very excited about your home life too. You're, yeah, you're excited about it. You're happy and your emotions seem to be balanced. So then you have the Hermit. So the Hermit could talk about um, withdrawing and being away from other people. To me, it's clarity that something comes to you um, and you get clarity on something. You're like, wow, I can't believe it. Now I understand why something happened or, or now I understand what that means. So a knight of coins is somebody younger than you. Feel free to vice versa if that would be a princess. But somebody coming in to offer you stability. Somebody who has coins. So then you have four of coins. So four of coins is somebody um, feeling blocked in love and money. Somebody, it must be you or somebody around you, ten of swords. So somebody had a very serious betrayal. They had an overkill, if you will. So I do feel like that's why somebody is blocked. And then the moon. So the moon represents Pisces, yin and yang, light and dark. So I do feel like something is going to come out in balance that you didn't know about. And then seven of coins. So seven of coins talks about taking inventory. Um, so after this person, the secret comes out, you could be thinking the pros and cons. Do you still want to be friends with this person? And do I want to be friends with anyone who helped this person? So there could be a lot of that going on where you're just going to do thinking about what's going on and you want peace in your home life so anyone bringing drama and stress I feel like you're not going to bring into your life so nine of cups talks about you feeling secure and proud and happy in the choices you've made and the people that are around you right now so this is balance look at this yin and yang on each end concerning how secure you feel and you're paying attention to the positives and the negatives in your life in every way. Wow. So then you have ten of coins again having to do with inheritance, birthright, DNA around the home structure I feel, family, knight of swords, vice versa to a princess. But this is somebody spying on you, wanting to communicate who's younger than you. And then Princess of Swords. So we have a pair right here. So it could be a couple that are spying on you. They're jealous of you, communicating. Um, they're both spying on you. That's weird. So then you have Nine of Swords. So Nine of Swords, somebody is unhappy that stuff balanced out for you, that you got information that made you make a decision. Somebody regrets 
that. So selfishness. Four of Earth is somebody who is selfish and they take from a lot of people. This is an equal opportunity taker. They don't just take from you. So stars card is Aquarius and Leo placement to me. So something about you is like larger than life, wish fulfillment, dreams. And then you have the wheel. So I do feel like fate is stepping in in your life some way and things are happening the way the universe wants them to happen for you. So seven of fire is somebody coming to defend yourself. This person who has regret and despair, I feel like they can't let go of you. They can't leave well enough alone. They're making it worse. Good kitty. So you have good kitty because of the negative or somebody tried to take from you, possibly steal from you. So the universe is correcting that by giving you good karma. And then you have eight of sky. So eight of sky is somebody feeling stuck because of your life. So I feel like somebody's comparing themselves to you and it's making them feel stuck, which has nothing to do with you. It all has to do with them. So six of sea is a lot of tears. A lot of people are going to cry when your life changes. I'm not sure if you're moving yet. I don't know if you're going to quit a job, but people are going to cry because of your life changing and you going away from them. So again, here's this person who can't quit taking from you. Somebody's trying to take when you aren't looking. So then you have four of wands, which is marriage. So you have marriage, long-term commitment, and the empress. So the Empress is somebody who is very nurturing, loving, um, protected by the Divine, somebody who touches things and they grow. It could be a pregnancy. The Priestess. Wow, these are pretty powerful reading. So the Priestess and the Empress are two different people. So there's two powerful people here. It could reverse those to masculine where it would apply to you. But... I feel like you have somebody around you who is very intuition, somebody who has really high psychic ability. I almost feel like it's a mom or a grandma who has psychic ability and watches over you. And then Eight of Earth. So Eight of Earth to me talks about the children could be picking up the psychic ability. The children could be picking up um, grandma's instincts and intuition. It's being passed down through the generations. So I feel like a new baby is going to be born, and it's going to have very high intellectual spirituality insight. So just know, look at this, 51, which is 5 is change, and 6 is after the change. So I do feel like something within you just knows you're going to communicate a feeling, which we have the peace here feeling. So you are aware of your inner um, instinct and knowledge, Gemini Cancer, the dude abides. So this refers to the Big Lebowski. I don't know if a lot of you have seen that movie. But to me, the dude abides is two. So somebody's going to partner up with you that if you're not already partnered up. And you're supported by the universe. You're going to be able to move in any direction you want. But most of all, your light is going to light brighter because of this person that's getting ready to come into your life. So then you have communication, which is 18, which... To me, is the loved ones communicating through your dreams. Somebody wants to communicate through your dreams. I am getting that. And so a dream journal will help you remember. It will help the messages get through. And it could be scary. If you're scary, they'll start with baby steps. They'll show you happiness in the dream. You know, they're trying not to scare you. If you're scared, they won't go out of that dream like in a half of a second, an eighth of a second, sixteenth of a second. They're in no way wanting to scare you. That's why it's better, easiest for them to come through the dreams. So if you're scared, they will keep working with you. Because I do feel like somebody's scared to communicate with their loved ones on the other side. So then you have 11 inspiration. This talks about somebody coming out of a very difficult time and being alone and feeling like they're so powerful because of what they went through. That they changed from a diamond in the rough to a diamond. You're going in a new direction. I feel like you're as strong as a crocus, which is a flower who comes up through the snow. So very strong. You're as strong as an alpha wolf, a pack leader. I mean, I see a lot of strength in here, in you. So the last two, the next one is seven, dancing in the rainbow. This is the... Um, I think this is a Hawaiian spinner dolphin. So this talks about happiness totally coming in for you. You are going to be very happy. 
And then the next one is 14, single-mindedness, which would be change for me, which would be 5. This is the Barracuda. It talks about um, you want to go a certain direction in your life because of the things that happen to you. Most people want to go another way, but you have a certain particular way you want to go that is unlike other people. And you kind of had to deal with that, I feel like, your life throughout your life and you're getting ready to come to terms with that where you understand it's you and who you are and it's meant to be who you are and you're going to embrace that is what I feel. So I hope this helps. Thank you so much. Bless you.